Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very requested video which is my how to coupon video for beginners because I am a beginner. Well, it's been like three weeks and I feel like a pro already. But yeah, today I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the basics on couponing and how easy it is to coupon. You right there watching this video can coupon. I swear, I tell everyone that it's so simple. Everyone has been requesting on Instagram because I post all of my like hauls and how much I pay for everything on Instagram. If in case you guys wanted to see it, it's Britless Fashion One, as well as on YouTube, I let you guys know about my couponing and you guys requested it. So today we're just gonna film my couponing 101. Okay, so let me let. Okay, so let me just tell you guys that this is going to become an awful addiction and it's going to spread like a virus to your family and to your boyfriend, girlfriend. It is an obsession, you guys. I promise you. So, first what you're going to have to do is obviously on Saturday or Sunday, the day that you prefer is to go buy your newspapers in the morning um, because by the afternoon they're going to be run out because everyone buys the newspapers and CVS, your local drugstore, Walmart, Target, places like that. Um, I buy mine at Publix, which is my job in case you guys didn't know. And I buy the Spanish one because it's cheaper and it has usually the same coupons, it varies. Um, so yeah, you're going to have to buy newspapers, that's first stop. Um, the amount of newspapers is up to you. I started off with one and then it made no complete sense because when things aren't buy one get one free, you got to use two coupons. So I bought one and I made a big mistake there. So at least start off with two or four or six or eight, like an even number. So that's the first thing you're going to have to do. You're going to spend a little bit of money out of your pocket to buy the newspapers for the coupons, but you'll get your money right back, I promise. So basically, you're going to have to buy your newspapers um, during the weekend and at your local drugstore or wherever you guys buy your newspapers at. So you're going to get home, take out the newspaper, um, the coupons from the newspapers. There's going to be three different type of um, coupons. There's always two weekly and then there's one that comes out once a month. So it's Red Plum, Smart Source, and PG Savers which comes out once a month which those are really good. So you're going to take out your Red Plum, your Smart Source, you're going to th throw out the newspaper. The only thing that you're going to keep are the coupons and the, um, the weekly ads of all your local drugstores and um, grocery stores. So you're going to look at the coupon book, um, look through to see what you have, whatever. Then you're going to open um, the weekly ads. Well, I'm just telling you guys what I do. You don't have to do it, but this is just what I do. So I'll sit down, look through the coupons with my mom, and then we'll look through the weekly ads of all the stores and see their specials. So now, for instance, this week, the Dawn um, the detergent, the Dawn um, dishwashing liquid is on sale for $0.99 cents at my local um, drugstore, which is CVS. So then on my PG Savers coupon book that came in the newspaper, there's a 50 cent coupon of any Dawn dishwashing liquid. So do the math, 99 cents minus, minus 59, minus 50 cents is 50 cents. So I paid 50 cents for my Dawn dishwashing liquids and I bought 10 newspapers. So I bought 10 dishwashing liquids. I paid what, like five, six dollars for 10 dishwashing liquids. So that's how simple it is. You basically just have to match up your coupons to your ads weekly ads of the stores so not always is your coupons going to be matching to your ads sometimes most of the times they usually are stores will literally um have things on sale and special that week of matching to the coupons i think they do that on purpose to help us but there's also um a different way you guys can go to your local drugstores walgreens rite aids like around other states i know there's like a drugstore called rite aid and stuff um, your grocery stores walk around and look for things that are on clearance. For instance, I was at um, Publix, which is my local gro grocery store, with my boyfriend and I went to the clearance um, area and they had the Axe deodorant on sale for $2.30. I had a coupon from the newspaper, the Red Plum one, to, uh, $2 off any Axe deodorant or... Um, body spray I think it was so you guys do the math I paid 30 cents but that's because I went around and looked for stuff that were on clearance um, CVS always has stuff on clearance I always find shampoos conditioners there they'll have the clearance sign in the bottom that says on clearance for $2.99 let's say and then I will one time this was a really good deal they had a two-in-one I forgot what the brand was I'll tell you guys right here And I'll post a picture as well. They were on sale for $2.99. I gave it to the cashier, ranked up for $1.50. And I had $1.50 off any shampoo of that brand. So I got the shampoo for free. So you guys just have to go out and look for clearance so you can match your coupons to them. Another thing is you guys are going to have to bring your coupons with you. I left my coupon bag in my car, but my parents are using my car. I take my coupon bag anywhere, as you guys can tell, it's in my car. So 
So any store that I go to, I'm always in my coupon book bag just because if I find something on clearance and I have the coupon at home, it makes no sense. It defeats the purpose. So bring your coupons with you. Um, I can always do another video on how I organize my coupons in case you guys wanted to know. But I promise you guys, it's so simple. You can do it on detergents, on house stuff. You can help your family out with um, toiletries, toilet paper. There's just so much. But you guys also have to follow the rules of the stores because there's like limits. I know my Publix, where I work at, there's a limit to four of the BOGO, which is buy one, get one free. So the good thing is about BOGO is if something is BOGO, which is buy one, get one free, you can use two coupons. The one on the one that you're buying and the one on the free item. So that's really good. Um, so now enough with all the um, newspaper coupons. Now I'm going to tell you guys about um, coupon websites. So I always, I'm, I'm going to link all the coupon websites that I use down below. The first one and the one that everyone knows about usually is coupons.com. Um, they usually have the newspaper coupons that you already had bought from your newspapers, but they also have different coupons. So you, if you have a printer that's an extra bonus, you can print out coupons that don't come in the mail. Um, there's a bunch of other websites. I'll link them down below, so make sure to look down below. And then there's also websites where people actually match up the deals and um, coupons for you. So they'll do the work for you instead of you having to look at them and look for them. Those websites will have uh, pictures for you, the links to the coupons that you need or the coupons that you need from, let's say, um, the Tide is on special this week and you're going to use a $2 coupon that you got two weeks ago. And then... They'll say Red Plum 817, let's say. That means it was like two weeks ago, and you go into your coupon book because you never throw them out unless they expire. And you look for that coupon, and now Tide is on special on CVS. You use that coupon from two weeks ago that hasn't expired, and you use it at CVS because the Tide is on special. So never throw out your coupons. Make sure you guys check out the websites that I'm going to link down below. There's like two or three maybe that I know that I'll literally just sit down in bed and scroll through their blog and they have all the like good deals and specials and some of them I don't even know about that I don't even catch them and I can find ideas from those websites another thing that I do that helps out a lot is I go on Instagram and I just put the hashtag couponing and I search through all the um, pictures that people hashtag couponing and I see their deals and what they got and it just it honestly helps out there's a lot of things that I've gotten ideas from through just hashtag hashtagging couponing on Instagram and you guys can just search up hashtag couponing and you see what everybody's been couponing and you probably get an idea. Another thing is Instagram pages of couponers. They um, also they also match up the deals for you just like the websites do but it's easier through Instagram. So I'll have some pages that I do follow down below. You guys can follow my Instagram because I always let you guys know what coupons I use and my deals and stuff. So it's Britlips Fashion One. So I think that's about it. I think I told you guys a lot. I didn't write down a list or anything to organize. If you guys like this video um, and want to see more coupon videos in the future or maybe um, an organization couponing or just more specific. If you guys have any questions on any of the coupon stuff, link in, I mean, comment down below and I'll make sure to reply to you or I can always do another video on couponing if I didn't answer all of you guys' questions. Um, so I love couponing. It's an obsession, you guys. Um, seriously, it spreads to my boyfriend, to my sister. My sister's like an extreme couponer now. It's just an, an obsession. And I also have a friend that her mom is an extreme couponer, so she helps me a lot. And I know, Kayla, you're watching this video. <laughs> um, her mom helps me a lot. Um, she always tells me about deals. She helps me out with some coupons that I don't have um, because they're older or whatever. So I'm blessed to have somebody like that in my life. Um, but maybe I can be you guys' friends and help you guys out with the um, couponing experience. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Follow my Instagram. I'll respond to you there, through there, to you there as well. So, yeah. If you guys this video, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Bye.